Welcome back everyone. Objective of this session is to understand how we can convert the unmappable solid into mappable solids. Through this exercise itself, we will also understand different options under the split command. So without further delay, let us get started. In this session, we are going to work with the geometry file. Simply go for file, import and let us import the geometry model. We will start with the problem01.stp file. Once file get open, it is always good idea to get familiar with the model. You can note, boundary of the component are shown in the dark black color. That means it is definitely solid. Another way to check is to simply press S on your keyboard. Make sure this toggle have been converted into the solid and then simply select solid. If it is getting selected, that means it is a solid. Again, let us press escape button. Let us go for the face color. Instead of automatic, let us go for mappable. In the previous session, we have discussed what it means by the mappable solid. If we have the mappable solid, then it is very easy to generate the hexa meshing. That is the reason we have the same logic to generate the hexa mesh and to convert the unmappable solid into mappable solid. Always keep in mind, before we start for the 3D hexa meshing, it is always good idea to first create the strategy Spend some time in understanding the geometry and possible ways through which we can achieve the hexa meshing in optimum time. Once you have the clear path in front of you, then it is very easy to convert or to generate the hexa mesh. Now let us see how we can tackle this particular problem. As of now, the color of this solid is the orange. That means this solid is not mappable one. Mappable essentially means if I start from one end, I can exactly go to the other end. Now let us for a time make assume that I am going to start from this particular end. So if I start from this end, then I can see over here I have one line, but this line have been terminated at this location since there is another feature. So to convert this particular solid, we can use the split command. Now to go for the split command, either we can go for the topology and here we have the split command. Under the split, we have the multiple option. Since we have spent lot of time in understanding the hypermesh, so from now on we will try to use the shortcut as much as possible. So let us press escape button, press alt on your keyboard and press right button. You can note, over here I have multiple options related to the split. Not only that, the same option will pop once I click on this button. So whichever is preferable to you, you can use that. As of now, let us go with the split using the surfaces. Try to understand how the command will work. Under the target, you will get to select either surface or the solid. As of now, we have the solid, so I will go with the solid and simply select one solid. Now under the tool. Since we are trying to split the solid using the surfaces, for the tool, we need to select the surface itself. Now this particular surface as of now is lying in this region. But instead of this surface, I want to have the 2D infinite surface. For that purpose, we are going to make use of this extend trimmer function. Once it is clicked, let us click on the review button. With the review button, you will basically understand which section of the solid is getting trimmed or which section of the solid is getting chopped off. Better way to visualize this is to go into the wireframe mode. To go into the wireframe mode, now we can simply press alt button. Press right mouse button and here we have no lines. You can note how the trim have been performed. Again, let us convert back into the surface edge. Simply go for the split and you can see the color have been changed into the yellow color indicating that this particular surface is now mappable. Let us do the same procedure. Now assume I have come up to this particular surface. From this surface again I have this particular line that has not been generated yet. Well, we can generate that, don't we? So again, I can go for the surface. Most of the operation under the split will come under surface itself. So let us go for target, go for solid and for the tool, this time let us select this particular surface. Now with this surface split, we can target two things at a time. You can see this particular extruded cylindrical portion will also get chopped off and then this surface will also become mappable since we can just start the mesh from this end and we can end till this end. So let us see indeed if it is happening or not. So perfectly fine now. 
this surface have been converted into the mappable solid and this also converted into the mappable solid. Now let us extend the logic over here as well. Now what exactly is the problem? From this location I have started, then up till this location here you can see there is another feature. Essentially what we are trying to do is to convert the larger solid into chunks of solid so that if we start from one end then exactly till the other end it will have certain guides in terms of edges or surfaces. Now let us do the same thing again but this time just to show you how this plane command work let us go for plane, go for target, go for solid then go for tools. Now for this particular thing let us create a plane on this particular face. Simply select the face and automatically an infinite plane will get created. To review how the split will work simply go for no lines and you can note the plane. Now let us go for split and let me again go for surface edges. Perfectly fine now. Ok now till this region we are absolutely fine. Now from again this region we have started and till this region you can see. Up till here we had the edges but on this side I have the point over here. But over here I don't have the point. So to create the point split it as simple as that. So go for plane, go for target. By the way most of the time target will also get automatically selected. You don't have to even manually go and select. But since we are the beginner let us go for target selection, go for tool, simply select the surface and go for split. Now perfect with this we have converted this entire solid into mappable solid. Now let us press escape button. Instead of this command let us go for component. So over here now try to visualize how the mesh will generate. Let's say he has created the mesh on this particular surface. Then algorithm will extrude that mesh from this region to this region. Why it will extrude? Because it has the guide. Here he can see I have one edge, second, third, fourth. Exactly same edges are present in the bottom direction also. Let me show you over here as well. Exactly same edges are present on the all the side. So essentially extruding the mesh from this location till the end is not big deal. In addition to that, now understand what will happen. Once complete mesh will get generated from this end to this end, here also it will have definite number. Now this same number will be used in order to generate the mesh in this region. To show you the same let me go for the mappable again. Now let us go for 3D. Let us go for map. As of now let me use the small element size so that you will understand. Our focus is not to generate exactly good mesh. Our focus is to understand how we can convert the unmappable solid into mappable solid. So simply click on find and let us go for mesh. This thing we need to observe at any cost. So let me press alt right button and let us go for mesh line. So you can see over here he has created the mesh and this particular mesh he is going to drag with certain number of element. The same number of element will be over here, over here and respectively on all the other side as you can note in this region. Now this particular extrusion that we predicted it will be over here, that extrusion have been placed over here, does not matter. At the end of the day he is going to extrude that thing. Once you understand how the mesh looks like, then we can go for mesh. Now with this he will convert the 2D mesh into 3D mesh. So I hope you got the idea. There are lot of crazy things we can do. For example, in this region you can note how the mesh flow is going from the bottom to the top. Instead of that you can align the mesh flow in that direction also. What you need to do is to split multiple times. Just for the demonstration purpose let us see if we are able to change the mesh flow. Let me press escape button. Let us go for element, control A and delete. Now again let us go for split, split using surface. Then under the target let us go for solids. Let us select this top solid and for the tool let me select this top surface. Make sure extend trimmer is on and go for split. In addition to that. We can also perform one more cut. So let me go for again solid. Let us select ok. This time let me select all the solids in this region. The plan I am working on most probably it will fail. What I am trying to do is to convert or add one more split over here. 
let us see it will work or not because with additional split here we might get little bit disturbance. Select this one and go for split. Okay. This looks much better. You can see. Now I have some green color as well. Green color essentially indicate the surface or the solid is mappable in three direction. So now let us observe the mesh. Again let us go for find and let us go for mesh. Now let us zoom in. Oh sorry. Let me press escape button. Let us go for control Z. Again control Z. Then go for find and let us go for mesh. Now let us zoom in. You can see the mesh flow have been changed. Now let us again click on the mesh button to see if the mesh is getting generated or not. Perfectly fine now. So you can note this mesh looks much better as compared to our previous mesh. So whatever the case with the split you can control lot of things. Now let us take another example to understand the same. Let us go for new page. Go for file. Go for import and go for geometry model. Let us go with this problem 02.stp file. N number of exercise we can do but as long as you do it by yourself nothing will change. Now let us try to understand this particular solid. Whenever I see solid since I have worked multiple time I can see separate separate feature. For you it might be little bit difficult but as you practice you will get grip of it. As of now you can see this particular cylindrical portion. This portion is going to be hectic for me since usually this kind of faces are mappable in only one direction. We will have to start from this location and we will have to go till this location. So whatever cut that we are planning to perform on this side has to be performed on this side also. With that we will get the uniform edge length. Let me show you how we can do that. Now let us say we have created the mesh on this particular surface. What we want is to extrude this particular mesh till this surface. So for that purpose we have this particular edge, this particular edge, again good, this edge and this edge. Absolutely fine. But the problem is with these edges. As of now we don't have the uniform edges. So one thing is absolutely clear that we need to perform the cut at two locations. Let us go for the split. Now we are not going to go to the topology and split. Simply press and hold alt right button and you will get the surface option. Then from the target no need to select as I have mentioned. Most of the time it will automatically select. So this is my surface number 1 and same goes with the surface number 2. You will note now once we split using the extend trimmer this portion will get mappable and this portion will get mappable. Simply go for ok middle button. Ok you can note neither review nor split is activated that means we need to select the target manually. Now let us go for split and as per the expectation this extended portions have been mappable. Now let us imagine from this phase I have started but once I come to this location you can see I have the different edge length. Again exactly same task. Again we need to go for solid. Let us go to the top view maybe. Then let us select these surfaces. Oh sorry these solids. Then go for tools. Convert this one and again convert this one. Perfect. Now again go for split. So far so good. Now let us see what exactly is the problem. So we have started from this end. Now we have come to this end. From here on I have the edges present. Edges present. But here you can note I don't have any edges and that's why it is creating a problem. Well no need to worry. Again go for solid. Select all the solid and this time for the surface split. Oh this is not what I want. I want to select this surface. Go for top view and you will note this entire section will be different and one line will get generated over here. Simply go for split. Left portion have been converted into the mappable solid. Let me check what exactly is the problem for this middle surface. Press escape button. Go for solid. Select this solid and press H on the keyboard to hide that solid. Now let me do the same thing over here. Select it. Press H on your keyboard. Now let us check. Ok. One problem it might be facing is because of this particular edges. So let us see if we can do the split. Press A on the keyboard. 
then let us go for mappable or we can go for component also okay first let me go for the component because for the mappable some status needs to be evaluated over here you can see i have the edge but on the top i don't have any edges so that might be one problem we need to figure it out now again let us go for face color go for mappable go for split surfaces then solids select all the solid and for the tool select this one and go for split okay now this region have been converted into the mappable same thing don't you think i will have to do for here as well because here i can see i have the edges but on the top i don't have any edges so let me select all this surface oh sorry for the target go for solid select all the solid and for the tool let us select this one okay again mistake simply zoom in and try to select this surface now let us go for split and tada you can note all the solids have been converted into the mappable one our task does not end over here even many time it will happen even though solids are converted into the mappable still hexa mesh won't get generated so let us go for mesh try to observe this mesh so that you will get better understanding about the logic that software is performing okay perfectly fine with me observe observation is the key now once you are good with the mesh simply click on this mesh button perfect all the mesh have been generated now let us observe only mesh by pressing g on our keyboard let us go for element by pressing e on the keyboard select one element and to select all attached element press control t so total selected element are 12038 now same goes with the model you can see all the elements have been selected that means everything is attached 